today, I will briefly present you the Portuguese uh, national um, e-health strategy, and especially I will focus on how we are putting data to work for the public's health now in Portugal, that it's much of the core of our digital e-health trajectory at the moment. So uh, to start, I will just give you a brief overview for those who do not know SPMS and our digital strategy in Portugal on how the Portuguese e-health information ecosystem is organized. And I will start that by saying that SPMS is uh, an, a, the national e-health agency in Portugal, and we have a three-way role uh, in our um, e-health system landscape. We are the national e-health authority. We are the responsible for information systems management and development at the national level. And we are also responsible for e-health international cooperation. Uh, and by saying so, we have um, a very high responsibility towards international um, digital health cooperation. And at the same time, we make sure that to do that, we put global e-health at the core of Portugal's national digital strategy. We are now collaborating in 17 different European initiatives, and we are also um, cross -border, collaborating at a cross-border level with several other agencies and initiatives that you can see here on the slide. And so we are responsible for the development and maintainment of a e national health information ecosystem. And as you know, Portugal has at the moment a wide range of health information systems that collect data from people's health, literally from birth to death. So we have now, for example, um, just to give you an overview of what I'm talking about, we have now 100% national electronic medical prescription. We have most of our hospitals running in uh, our national uh, electronic health records platform. And also at the same time, most of our primary care centers also running in our national electronic health record platform. And so uh, after having making this digital transition for the most part of our uh, national health service, we really want to make sure that we are able to put this data to work for the public's health. And diseases have no borders. And so Portugal needs to build the digital continuity of care and to play a very active role in building a shared global e-health agenda. And how are we doing that? We have been collaborating at the international level and make sure that we put our focus in four different strands. Reinforcing personalized medicine, making sure that we have an individual plan of care that also gives our citizens access and availability to their health data at the national level, but also at the cross-border level. We have been collaborating at my health at EU for the primary use of data since the start. And we are now very actively focused on having a cross-border shared agenda for secondary use of health data. Regarding uh, the primary use of data, and this is important because this is how we are dealing with the European health data space agenda. We are making sure that we develop primary use of data alongside with secondary use of data because they share the same conceptual framework and background. And we need, we really feel that we need to make sure that both are developed at the same time at the national level. To, to at the end we are so that at the end we are able to reach our objective of making the most of secondary use of data by having a very strong framework regarding the primary use. And so we now are um, a country that was um, one of the first countries of developing and implementing My Health at EU services. And we have our services now for patient summary and e-prescription available in a total of 10 different EU countries. Regarding um, 
also primary use of data. SPMS has been coordinating the AXI Health Coordination and Support Action that you heard today from several different speakers. And this action is actually the first one that was intended to widen the scope of cross-border sharing of health data by adding technical specifications for laboratory results, medical images, discharge letters, and also having a patient summary that has the specific fields that are needed for rare diseases care. And so as coordinators of the eHealth project, we are also making sure that our technical specifications at the national level are aligned with the European specifications for the European health record exchange format. Now, focusing on our national service, health service, how are we building this next generation of electronic and digital national health service in Portugal. We have a national digital strategy that is coordinated with the recovery and resilience plan. And our national strategy has four different axes. Two core axes that are centered on professionals and citizens, and two additional axes that are centered on infrastructure and health data. And so in a nutshell, this is how I can uh, best summarize our very comprehensive digital health strategy. Regarding the infrastructure, we uh, are now making sure that we can streamline the development of a national data lake and at the same time to implement a, a, a national public and private cloud that is able to ensure portability of citizens' data when they travel between private and public care sector. We are also developed two main core infrastructure hubs to strengthen information um, security and cybersecurity. Regarding uh, citizens, what are we now planning to improve our citizen experience? We have a national citizen-centric omni-channel platform that allows citizens to interact with our national health service through se several different channels, either online, a national app, by phone, by email. We want to make sure that the digital entry point for the Portuguese NHS is as flexible and far-reaching as possible. We are also planning now to have predictive and intelligent behavior in information systems for citizens. So we want to make sure that citizens can have added value beyond reaching their own health data, that they can have added value from trusted information and national public health sources regarding uh, the the quality of their information on the one hand and the other, the quality of the knowledge that they extract from that information. We are now also developing a universal electronic health record for Portugal. So we want to make sure that our citizens have their own health data in an interoperable format, either between that contains either pu public and private health data. And we are at the same time expanding the telehealth tools to make sure we create conditions for greater mobility within the country and also cross-border. Regarding health professionals, we are making sure that we have a single and integrated system between primary health care, hospital health care, and the integrated and continued care um, institutions in the country. We want to have a replacement of legacy information systems to make sure we strengthen the information portability and are able to integrate all information systems that are now in place, but there are uh, bringing many challenges to have a core information system that can be available for all health providers in Portugal. And we also want to simplify all the administrative processes that are related to uh, um, the information aggregation, uh, aggregation and methodologies that are used for that. And finally, regarding health data, we are uh, 
as I told you, making sure that we reinforce the information sharing between systems and in very different ways, having therapeutic reconciliation systems and at the same time, reinforcing the dematerialization of all uh, medicines and medical devices areas uh, that we have available in the country and that are not all still in digital format. And so we want to make sure that we do this by having a national consolidated interoperability platform. So these four axes make the core of what, how we want to move forward with the national digital health strategy. And I will um, dive a little bit deep in some of our um, actions. Regarding the development of a data lake, what do we mean by a data lake? We want to have a massive repository of native health data that is universal and transversal to all the national health service. And this is a way or will be a way to ensure that we are able to deploy data intelligence within the national health service and to, to have decision support systems either for citizens and for health professionals in um, all of the scope of the information that we have uh, now stored in our Portuguese NHS. We are at the same time um, engaging in artificial intelligence in health. So we created a laboratory, a public laboratory for testing AI services within the NHS. And we want to make sure that we develop systems that are really able to support professional activities and also citizens uh, care pathway that are responsive to our social needs. And I will dive uh, also a little bit more in detail on this after. We are having a very, very big investment in business intelligence in health. So business intelligence is not only about data, it's not only about uh, AI, it's about having multidisciplinary teams that are able to build relevant uh, business intelligence and dashboard services for the Portuguese NHS. So we are focusing not only on the infrastructure, on interoperability, but also on develop existing tools to support the activity and the evolution of digital tools regarding business, business intelligence in the Portuguese NHS. And to finalize, as I mentioned early, we want to have a single data structure for a universal electronic health record in Portugal. So universal healthcare means that we need a universal electronic health record, a single clinical process that is able to identify and specify data structures based on international standards and uh, make sure that we develop it at the national level based on the already existing normative international framework. So this makes the core of our strategy, but before finalizing, I would like to talk about how we are integrating artificial intelligence into the national public health sector. We have built within the NHS, a real world laboratory for research and developing regarding artificial intelligence. So we want to advance secondary use of data in priority domains, but mainly we as a governmental agency want to learn and uh, how to manage and learn how to anticipate the risks that may be associated with AI. So we develop and created this National Artificial Intelligence Lab in partnership between different public and private research institutions. And we have as goals for this lab to make sure that we make a safe and responsible use of AI for health, that we are able to translate our store data, national health service data into really useful and meaningful AI backed tools that we have a trusted environment to test and scale up innovative IT solutions, that we have established partnerships for this testing within a national health service, and ultimately to promote our national health service efficiency, of course, safety and quality.